Oh, and w if you're seeing this clip, I was live streaming this. You can hit that subscribe button and become a member if you wanna watch the original VOD. But this video is sponsored by Marvel Strike Force. I have to line it up. Alongside JLab, Skillshare, CapCut, and NordVPN. Hopefully you guys check out the links in the description to see if you enjoy any of our amazing sponsors. But to kind of continue with this, let's stop the music and get a little bit more serious. Now, Cody Ko is a 6 million subscriber YouTuber right. who was accused by Tana Mongu and subsequently had that allegation signal boosted by another creator, D'Angelo Wallace. Now, I am someone that believes in evidence when making accusations. So let's see what is brought to the table. All right, Cody, let's have an uncomfortable conversation. Someone has been alleging for years now that you, one of the largest commentary creators on YouTube, knowingly committed a crime against her when she was a minor. But YouTubers and viewers alike are ignoring and discrediting these allegations solely because the person making them happens to be an unlikable woman online, Tana Mojo. And you know that people are ignoring this because nobody is working harder to bury this story than you. And you're getting away with it because commentary YouTube has a serious problem. I can't blame any of your viewers or my viewers for not hearing about this because you've done such a good job hiding it up until now that I only found out about it recently. The situation has been talked about by smaller channels, it's been discussed at length on other platforms, and it keeps almost hitting the mainstream, like with this Rolling Stone article or this H3 podcast discussion. But the reason it hasn't caught on yet, despite all of this, is that none of your friends, nobody on your level, Nobody in the commentary niche with enough pull is willing to admit that this situation makes you look terrible. A lot of I'm not gonna lie, he is right. People like him a lot, and they really are like doing any kind of mental yeah. gymnastic to just ignore it. I'm not here to accuse you of committing a crime in this video because I can't do that based on someone else's allegations. Nobody can definitively take these allegations as proof, but at the same time, they should still be looked at and not treated as an open secret and swept under the rug like you've been doing for so many years now. And from the way the situation keeps popping up more and more often, it's clear that there's only so much rug sweeping you can do before people start start taking a closer look at things. So let's take a closer look. We both know that Tana Mojo is a YouTube personality with a history. I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't like the fact that Cody is being accused of this and it's all just word of mouth, all allegations. I, and I'm going to title this clip and the one you're watching right now, um, something inflammatory just to get the views but to give my real take if cody ko is definitively guilty of these actions he needs to have his life ruined put in prison and openly assaulted stuff of that nature is not okay white boy come here i know bud sorry my small very small puppy wants to be free He has been freed. Freedom has been given to the boy. But to continue, I cannot in good conscience support these allegations without evidence. Am I going to make a video basically saying, Cody Ko, innocent, falsely accused. I'm going to title it that just because it will get views. But to give my real take here, Cody Ko is being alleged of being a pedophile. I will not be doing the mental gymnastics of, oh, she was 17. That's fine. Anyone that does that needs to be arrested or on the spot with no oversight done to what is done to them. I do not believe that if you are interacting with an individual under the age of 18 sexually, that you need to be allowed to breathe. That is disgusting and abhorrent. Let us continue with the video. 
history of lies, controversy, and genuinely problematic behavior that's become so entangled with her brand that her podcast is called Cancelled with Tana Mojo. And speaking of this podcast, about a month ago, she hosted a live episode in front of an audience, and the conversation turned to you. Who's the smallest you've ever had sex with? Oh my god, did no one look at me, Cody Co. I can say that! This clip started making the rounds and people were understandably perturbed because if Tana Mojo was 17, you would have been 25. So people started to- That is like objectively horrifying. Like objectively fucking horrifying, by the way. Because a 29 year old having these interactions allegedly because I've not seen any proof these are all word of mouth statements and I, I don't want, I'm going to say this. I don't want, uh, I'm, I'm in a predicament because if I say I want these to be true, that means I want Tana to be victimized and I don't want that. I don't, I fucking don't. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants anyone to be victimized. But if if you are out there saying, I want these allegations to be true, you are also saying you want Tana to be a victim. You want to victimize Tana because you don't like Cody. I don't know anything. I'm as neutral as possible. But this is fucking abhorrent speculating and tana decided to set the record straight i hooked up with cody call when i was 17 and he was 25. she claims that not only were you fully aware of her age at the time but someone even tried to stop you and you went ahead anyway there was a situation with gabby hannah at a playlist live where she pulled him aside and told him like yo she's 17 and then we still went and hooked up to be clear 17 is under the age of consent in many states including florida where playlist live used to take place so that so I, I'm going to tell you guys something. The federal age of consent, which trumps every single state law, is 18. And the federal, for me, and the slugs law of you don't get a baseball bat with a spike in it to the head law of don't fuck kids is... Don't fuck people under the age of 18. Wow. Fucking shocker. You know what? Boom. Fucking shocker, by the way. Shocking that I have to say that to another grown man. Let's continue. This means that Tana Mojo is accusing you of statutory rape, and she's not trying to hide that. This isn't just some crazy tea. It was a crime. Nothing would make this situation better, but plenty of things make it worse, like the fact that she was a fan of yours at the time, adding an additional layer to the power dynamic you would have had over her. I grew up loving him, and I think I, you know what I mean? Like, I was just, like, excited and a fan. Tana seems to have many feelings about this, which we'll go over a bit later, but she stated very clearly that the actions she's accusing you of are inexcusable. If I had a 17-year-old daughter or a little sister or something, like, I would kill. I would never let it fly. These recent you wouldn't you would see me on the news you would see me on the news if i had a kid who was let's just say i had a kid that was 17 and an adult fucked them you would see me on the news for something extremely violent extremely gruesome and extremely heinous for what i would do to that individual there would not be remorse. There would not be a plea of innocence. There would be a, I did what was right as a parent. I would go after their friends. I would go after their family if they did not condemn the individual. I would go scorched earth and go after their employers as well. I would do whatever was needed. If you are having sex with children, you have lost your human rights. 
allegations are bad enough on their own, but there are a couple of things that make them worse still. Things that many people don't know yet, but you do. You know that Tana has been making the same specific claim against you for years now. Here she is back in 2021 saying the same thing. I was 17 at the time, 18. I started kind of hooking up with other people. Shout out JC Kalen, shout out Cody Co. But what lends the most credibility to Tana's claims, and what is really the most damning thing for you, Cody, is a clip that you might not have even seen yet. See, I read the role Rolling Stone article, I watched the YouTube videos about this, and they all missed something. And I understand why. The clip I'm about to show you is extremely hard to find. The original has been lost to time, and it's a wonder we have this on video at all. But if there was anything to give me any more clarity about these allegations before I formed my opinion, I was going to find it. Remember how Tana said that fellow YouTuber Gabby Hanna tried to stop you before everything allegedly went down? Well, did you know that Gabby is actually on record telling the exact same story several years ago? One time, I told a guy. I so, it's not looking good, Cody. And you're not going to see me complaining when, when people go after you, Cody. You're not going to see me complaining or trying to stop them. What you are doing, Cody, is illegal. I saw him making out with a girl at a party yeah. who was underage, and I pulled him aside, and I was like, hey, man, you probably don't know. I know she, like, looks a little older. She's underage. Watch it. And he's like, oh, my God, thank you for telling me. And then he turned that night. This is really, really bad. People make... And then he fucked her that night. Wow. Why am I not surprised anymore? Should I be surprised? No accusations all the time specifically regarding things that are very difficult to prove or disprove unfortunate as that may be but when somebody makes an allegation and they say they have a witness and that witness can be found telling the exact same story years before any of this came out that's not something i can just ignore in a situation that cannot be proven corroboration by a third party goes a long way and frankly cody the allegations against you seem to have been corroborated but instead of researching to find these answers like I did, many of your fans seem far more interested in attacking your accuser. I have seen so many comments, but what was she wearing? It's Tana, so who I'm not going to lie. Even though fucking, even though, even fucking though, Tana is a liar, a scumbag, a piece of shit. She does not deserve to be raped. She does not deserve that. She does not deserve to be preyed upon by a grown man when she was 17 or 16 or preyed upon at all. I dislike Tana. I hate Tana. But this, she does not deserve this. I do still hope that there's proof exonerating it. But the fact that Gabby Hanna said the exact same thing years before this came out it's leaning towards being true in my eyes and hopefully in others as well. But when it comes to this, I have to wait for proof beyond just corroboration. But my opinion so far is that Tana is telling the truth and I hope that Cody loses everything, loses his career, loses his money, his friends, his connections, his life, everything and anything, because that man has committed a vile fucking crime. Who cares? Well, it's Tana Mojo. The reaction to this has been unsurprising, but incredibly disappointing. Demanding proof that they know she can't provide, acting like she's only doing this to gain clout or ruin you somehow, despite the fact that she's never once put your name in a video title over this. Or worst of all, implying that a 17-year-old could have truly consented to any of this. But let's be clear about one thing. That is not the case. No amount of retroactive age calculations or what-if scenarios this is so fucking psychotic. Anyone who makes this argument is a pedophile. Anyone who makes the argument of, oh, but they're 17 years old, 364 days and 59 minutes, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, you're a pedophile. You are a pedophile if you make that argument.
Do you ever make the argument of a 16, 17 year old can consent? That means you are a pedophile. You are a fucking pedophile. If you ever make the argument of, oh, a 17 year old can consent, a 16 year old can consent. Anyone under the age of 18 is a child. They are a child and have no ability to consent. They do not have the brain capacity to consent. They do not know what they are doing. They are children. If you go against that, you are a pedophile. You are not welcome in my community. I will make sure that if you make that argument in my community and anywhere near me, you are gone. I do not care what your beliefs are. I do not care if you are joking. It is an end all be all. And the fact that people are using this psychotically pedophilic argument to defend Cody is disgusting. It has changed the fact that what Tanda described would be, objectively speaking, a crime. A crime which you've said absolutely nothing about. And even if this wasn't illegal, you remember being 25. You would have known then, as I currently know at age 25, that nobody this age should need an explanation for why a 17 year old is off limits. Because you remember being 17 too. Now, thankfully, Tana's personal experience with this isn't one of trauma. In fact, I've seen people defending you by saying, Tana said she doesn't care, so why should any of us care? But that's not exactly what she was saying. I don't associate or hold it with trauma because I am such a comparative person where I'm like so many worse things have happened to me. And even if something isn't consciously internalized as an identifiable source of trauma, the body keeps the score. I know things manifest in ways other than me directly feeling them. Like maybe I don't yeah. feel traumatized in certain aspects from certain things and other things I do. But, you know, maybe they just manifest in ways other than directly feeling. The answer to why any of us should care is that a person has tried to come forward about her experience and has been met with the most vitriolic victim blaming I've seen in years. She's been dismissed, discredited, and disbelieved before anybody ever gave her a chance because it's Tana, which sets a horrible precedent that if a person runs out of goodwill, they lose the right to come forward with their experiences. The most traumatizing thing of all of this really was seeing how many people like don't believe people or don't yeah. believe me. I feel so bad for all of these young girls because then they see that and then it makes them not want to come forward. And you, Cody, are part of the reason she's been met with this reaction. Your status as one of YouTube's golden boys has made it possible for you to ignore a situation that almost anyone else would have had to respond to by now. I know for a fact if you swapped out Cody Ko with someone that like people didn't like that much. Oh my I God. I would be receiving so much more sympathy. I find your silence on the situation to be uncomfortable because I know that if Tana's allegations are true, then silence would be your only option since time We're going back to school rules. 12th graders don't date freshmen sophomore. When you are an 18 year old adult, aim higher. Don't aim lower, you filthy fucking pedophiles. I'm not calling you one, chat. But anyone that ever defends it is a pedophile. They are filthy, disgusting, awful, abhorrent creatures that should never be taken with any form of sympathy if they ever defend an adult being with a child. Telling the truth would be tantamount to confessing to a crime, and lying would put you at risk of being contradicted by a witness. And like I told you at the beginning, I'm not accusing you of committing a crime, but even if what Tana says is false, your silence is still grossly incompetent at best. Why are you choosing the path that would be your only option if you were guilty? Now, some seem to think that you're not obligated to speak up, and maybe that's what people around you are telling you as well. But from one creator to another, you absolutely have an obligation to, at the very least, call out the misogyny, the victim blaming, and all manner of cognitive dissonance that's coming from your audience in the name of defending you against allegations that you're too cowardly to address. Preach it true! Thank you for the $20. Much appreciated, Lou. Very much, very poggers, poggies. Poggito burrito. 
and that'll take just a little bit to show up on uh, screen. But yeah, this type of shit where they because a lot of people don't want to do the whole, uh, oh, we're going to totally just ignore it or cognitive dissonance. No. I'm going to word it the right way for D'Angelo. Children are children. Any adult that fucks a child, you're a pedophile. 17 is a child. That is how it is. Thank you for the 20. Very, very appreciated. But again, it is disgusting and abhorrent. Yes. And to be clear, this is cowardice. But you demonstrate it whenever there's controversy afoot. Tana's further claims make it sound like you're terrified. <laughs> I said something about it online and it was starting to surface. And he texted me like, are we good? And was like, and like, mm. I said, yeah. And like, he was like, my wedding's coming up. You do have a history of making bad choices when you're- Wait, 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 wait. Yes, he was 25 when he was fucking a child. 20, 25 when you fucked a kid. Ah! Ah! <laughs> you were 20 fucking five and you fucked a child. I don't know. I don't know how else to fucking say this. But when you are 25 fucking a kid. That's wrong. I didn't think I'd have to educate someone on that. Terrified of people finding things out, like your history of using slurs. Five, nigga, six, nigga, seven, nigga, eight, nigga, nine, nigga. There's more clips than that, but the reason most people are blissfully unaware of them is because you posted your vague apology, not on Twitter, not on YouTube, but on Patreon, despite acknowledging in your apology that the clips were surfacing on Twitter. This is one of many examples of your poor handling of controversy. The f Why is he putting an apology under a paywall? Like, oh, hi, I'm Cody Co. Let's put our apology behind a paywall. What the fuck? What kind of monetization scheme is this? What is this? This is insane. No. Fucking no. No way. Fucking no way, dude. No fucking shot. That's... Why? Holy shit. Why? What the fuck? <laughs> I should start putting it. If I ever get canceled, chat, should I put like my apology behind members only? I feel like that would be a lot funnier just to mock Cody Ko, but it's still like a dick move. But. <laughs> <laughs> how do you why do you by the way just put an apology behind a paywall scrapper spoon and the bottom of the barrel true not many people know that you've already lost fans over an eerily similar topic. You used to frequently feature and promote your college friend Colby Leachman in your videos until it came out that during your school days, Leachman's university put him on probation for, as a United States district judge would later put it, the non-consensual videotaping of a sex act with another student, showing the video to other people, lying to the police about the video, and behaving horribly to that individual and at least one other woman. To make my Bro! Bro! No fucking shot, dude. No shot. No fucking shot, motherfucker. Put in the put in a Discord that you can only access by subbing to Patreon. <laughs> Holy fuck! Holy fucking shit! This is abhorrent. What the fuck?
Matters worse, the woman in the video also alleged that Leachman drugged her before the recording and that she hadn't actually consented to anything at all. You had this man in your videos. You were telling us to follow him on Instagram. And at some point... So he was promoting a rapist. What the fuck? You did wise up, so he's no longer part of your content, but he still seems like he's very much a part of your friend group. From the continued hangout since then to inviting him to your wedding just last year, people are under the impression that you're best friends with someone who, at best, committed an illegal sex act and at worst is an alleged rapist. And no matter how many times people rediscover this information over the years, you refuse to say anything at all. You could clarify this, but you won't. But now your cowardice has reached a new low. You've tried speaking and you've tried silence and now you're choosing censorship. On your YouTube channel where you've been pumping out content nearly every day now, I couldn't find a single comment on your last video about this situation. Not even one. Comparing that to the comment section on your Instagram where every single comment I saw was about this, it's clear that you're heavily censoring your audience on YouTube. But surely you must have realized the limits by now since people have just transferred the conversation over to your wife's channel. The fact that her comment- Bro. Imagine the fact that this guy, his wife, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm not going to lie. I hate making this argument, but if women that marry a man like that or men that marry a woman that do the same, they are disgusting because what would happen to the child? What happens when people like that have children? Because I may not want kids. I think kids are dumb little rat creatures that are just like, hmm, ready for cheems. Hmm? It's, uh, it's really just fucking gross. I genuinely believe that when it comes to this, oh, God. That kid better not turn out with his turn out like his dad. Cause that is fucking gross. And it's gross that fucking Cody was able to get away with sleeping with a child. No, I understand that. I was raped back in high school. But again, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Comment section is overrun due to your decision to stay silent about this should be all the proof you need that that decision was wrong. At this point, your silence and censorship are a response with disturbing implications. The only thing that I've seen this hidden portion of your audience asking for is the truth. So why aren't you telling it? And your silence isn't the only one that's bothering me either. All these Reddit threads, like if my name's on any thread, it's all getting deleted. I witnessed the heavy handed moderation of your subreddit in real time as I researched this video. I would refresh the page and posts would suddenly be unapproved by moderators after racking up hundreds of comments, removed because they could quote, instigate drama, or more commonly just locked and or removed with no reason given whatsoever. I'm sure whoever is doing this thinks they're helping you, but you should probably tell them that they're making things look 10 times worse. But it's not just your moderators, it's your friends and fellow YouTubers too. It's no coincidence that with the exception of the Apes 3 podcast, I haven't seen a single channel over a million subscribers do so much as acknowledge that this situation exists. And I'm not talking about channels that never would have discuss something like this either. I mean the same channels that were rightfully calling out people like Dr. Disrespect for texting a minor, which are the same channels that are now completely ignoring a scenario with an even bigger creator being accused of doing something much worse. You can't say it's because the allegations are unconfirmed because the channels that I'm talking about discuss rumors all the time. And this video is all the proof you need that there's still plenty to discuss even without making definitive statements. The general public may not know about the situation, but I promise I promise you, anyone who's online enough to run a YouTube channel does. The amount of people in this industry who like want to protect him and are like oh, talking right. to me in a way where it's like they, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. or even just friends like, but, but I love him. The community silence on this has been so staggering that people are now <sighs> saying that commentary YouTube is a boys club, AKA. It is, it is fucking gross. And I hope Cody Ko loses everything. If he, 
if Cody goes fucking uh, homeless and he ruins his kid's life, that's on Cody. Cody is a fucking disgusting pedophile. Go ahead. Go ahead. If you had proof, you would be able to disprove it. The only one that has ever been able to fully debunk it after waiting like months was Dream. And Dream is a special case because he's an idiot Minecraft YouTuber that believes that he needs to fucking just stay quiet on everything. But you, Cody, if this is true, you are a fucking pedophile and you need to lose everything in your life. There is no redemption. There is no fucking, oh, I'm so we apology video and keep going. Afterwards, I will fully say it. If this is all true and you come out and it comes out and anyone that still supports you, I will call you and your community pedophiles. I do not care. You do not scare me. You will never scare me. But I will say this. If this is all true, there is more verifiable evidence such as that text of you saying we good to Tana. If Tana could post that, you're done. You're fucking done. Alongside any other convos saying that your wedding's coming up. You're done, dude. A, a male dominated space that mistreats women while enabling and protecting men. And the truth is, Cody, whether you're guilty or not, you are being enabled to ignore this and protected from having to respond as an act of misogyny towards Tana Mojo. We both know that on our side of commentary YouTube, any man can easily elevate himself by dunking on misogynists in his content and espousing a generally feminist viewpoint. But if that viewpoint turns to silence, the moment a situation is no longer cut and dry, then that viewpoint was a branch strategy, not a belief. The misogyny that we should be discussing is right here in the community, yet the only thing I'm hearing is a bitter hollow silence. One that you have the power to end. I said it in the beginning, I said it in the middle, and I'll end with this. One person's testimony does not give me the right to accuse you of doing anything illegal, but I can point out the facts. It's a fact that you and Tana were around each other during the years she specified, as seen in your uncomfortable collab videos, which are still online. It's a fact. Bro! that Gabby Hanna has made claims that seem to corroborate Tana's allegations against you. And it's a fact that you are suppressing your audience's knowledge of these allegations by censoring your YouTube comment section. These things may not- Ooh, yeah, no. Cody Ko's fucked. Holy shit. Just outright fucked. Approve Tana's allegation, but you better believe that they contextualize them in a way that you- need to address and you still have every right to address this even now if you have a side of the story that we're missing then tell it if i have my facts wrong say something nobody should ever be denied the right to tell the truth no matter what i'm sure we can all agree that everyone should have the right to speak their truth Woo. but that's exactly why i couldn't just sit here and watch the whole world tell tana that it doesn't apply to her regardless of the truth of the situation i'm just so disappointed either way. That is all. Goodbye, Cody. And to end off this video, kind of to point something out, I am not going to be uh, viewing it as if Cody is innocent. In my opinion, I view Cody as guilty. The fact that he is silent and suppressing this is psychotic. Alongside that, if that if the text between you and Tana date back to when she was a minor, you're done. No, don't. It's the same thing with Drake. Never fucking interact with children. You're a grown man. Act like it, you fucking failure. Holy shit, dude. Holy fucking shit.